The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Simeon, Simeon came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, Simeon took Jesus into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The father and mother of Jesus were amazed at what was said about Jesus. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So it was only eight days after the birth of Jesus. And on the eighth day, the child, especially if it's a male, should be brought to the temple to be presented. And that is the gospel reading that we have today. Mary and Joseph, the parents of Jesus, so, uh, he was a very tiny baby boy. And they brought him to the temple to present him. And uh, marahil ay nag-recover pa lang no, ang ating mahal na ina mula sa kanyang pag-anak, no, uh, pagluwal no, sa ating Panginoon. And yet, in accordance to the law, they have to do it. And uh, they presented no, what is required by the law, uh, offerings to the temple. And uh, unexpectedly, no, somebody no, was in the temple by the name Simeon. He was a very old man and he was in the temple every day waiting for this very moment to happen. And uh, when he, had, he took hold of the child, no, nung mahawakan niya ang uh, sanggol na si Jesus, no, ay uh, namutawi sa kanya mga labi, Panginoon, pwede mo na akong kunin. Now I can die. Now you can send your servant no, uh, to go in peace. My eyes have seen the salvation. Nakita ko na, nakita ng aking mga dalawang mata, nahawakan ng aking mga kamay, at nailagay ko sa aking mga braso ang kaligtasan. No? The promise of salvation, the Messiah, the Lord Himself. And the parents of Jesus, Joseph and Mary, were amazed at what was said. No? They were just simple folks. No? At uh, sila ay pumunta lang sa templo kagutulad ng nakagawian ng lahat no mga mga magulang na mayroong anak na lalaki o panganay na lalaki kailangan ito ay uh, i uh, ipresenta no sa templo and after that no pagkatapos no puriin at pagkatapos na masiyahan ipakita ang kanya kagalakan ay nagsalita naman si Simeon sa ating mahal na ina no addressed to Mary his mother Simeon said no behold this child is destined for the fall and rise of Israel. And this sign, and he will be no, uh, a sign of contradiction. He will be contradicted. And this is the worst thing. No? And you, the mother of this child, no, a sword will pierce your heart. And Mary, more than amazed, mas siguro ay uh, nagulat no, no, sa kanyang uh, narinig. No, na ang, ang iyong puso ay tutusuki ng palaso. No? So you will be pierced of espada. No? So gaano ka sakit yun? Ibig sabihin, you will experience pain no, in, uh, in rearing or in uh, taking care of this child. And Mary may be remembered just like nine months ago no, when I said yes to the angel that this baby boy that I will give birth to will be a great man. He will rule over his kingdom and he will establish his kingdom on earth. 
and his kingdom will be great and he is going to be the son of God that's why we will name him Jesus according to the name given to us by the angel and yet here comes again no? another challenge and this is just the beginning of the many 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 challenges for our mother no? our lady the mother of, of our Lord and our mother too and yet always when Mary hears or heard these things no she would always keep all these things in her heart she would always contemplate on these things alam naman niya yon eh tanggap niya na yon from the very moment she conceived no on the very night of the annunciation mary accepted everything when she said yes i am a lowly servant of the lord whatever you have said let it be done unto me and i offer everything that i am all that I am you know, in the service of God. And that is the kind of life that Mary lived. At uh, sa araw na ito ay dito, uh, pangatlong araw na tayo ay binibigyan natin siya ng parangal bago sumapit ang kanyang kapistahan. So balit ang araw na ito ay mas special din para sa ating mga Pilipino. Kung marahil, kung marami sa atin na hindi natin alam, sa araw na ito ay pinagdiriwang natin o ginugunita natin ang ikalimang daang taon. Exactly on this very day, 500 years ago, the first baptism happened in our country. No? So, ang kaunaunahang uh, pagbibinyag ay naganap sa ating bansa. Ito ay pinangunahan ng mga asawang si Raha Humabon at ang kanyang asawang si Hara Humamay. At kasabay nila ay mga walong daan pa no, na kanilang mga, mga, mga natives, no, marahil kanilang mga kasapi o mga tauhan. No, na nagpabinyag din. So, more than 800 no, native Filipinos became Catholic exactly 500 years ago on April 14, 1521. But what was amazing about that? Ano ba ang nag-udyok para sa uh, asawa ni Dato Humabon no, upang uh, uh, akayin ang kanyang uh, uh, asawa? o ang kanyang kanilang mga tauhan na magpabinyag at tanggapin ang pananampalatayang katoliko because Magellan and his companions gave her an image an image of the child Jesus that is the very first image that was given to the Philippines the image of our Lord Jesus Christ the baby Jesus the Santo Nino no and because of that no she uh, she contemplated and with contrition no she asked together with her husband and the rest maybe of her clan no to be baptized when they were presented with the child jesus very similar to what we have witnessed in the gospel today simeon was also presented no, with the child jesus and with great faith proclaimed lord now you can take me to your kingdom I have seen salvation. Maybe that was also the feeling no, of these people, our native uh, kababayans, no, on that very day 500 years ago, no, that they want to embrace the faith. They have seen, they have held the salvation in their hands. And with that, no, that very image, 500 years old, is still here with us today. And it's they're venerated and worshipped. No? venerated in the Bayro Basilica of the Santo Nino in Cebu. Kaya nga ito yung nilalabas natin yung Santo Nino de Cebu. No? This is the very first image that we have no, in the Philippines. No? And uh, now we commemorate no, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. What is Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag about? Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag is about Jesus. When she came here 400 years ago, or more than 400 years ago, when she came down and appeared on this very place, no, only one thing she asked, not for herself. She said, build a church right here. Yes, in honor of her name, but the church is going to be the place in order for people to gather to worship her son. Our Lady of Manawag is about the child Jesus. Kaya this image that we venerate, that we honor, that we love so much, no, is about Jesus being presented to us. Kaya nga, yung imahin natin, oh, hindi si Maria ang nandyan. Hindi lang siya. 
kundi tangay-tangay niya ang kanyang anak upang ipakilala sa atin. And this has been the story of our Christian faith here in the Philippines when we were presented with the child Jesus that was the, the beginning of, our, of the history of Christianity, history of 500 years. And we continue you know, that history. And we keep you know, what happened 500 years ago growing as we recognize and we accept Jesus being presented to us by her mother. You know, we also would utter with Simeon, no, katulad ng propetang si Simeon, no, pagkatapos natin parangalan ang ating mahal na ina, ay tanggapin natin ang kanyang handog para sa atin. At ang kanyang tanging handog para sa atin ay ang kanyang anak. To be placed in our hands, to be placed in our arms, to be kept in our hearts. So that with Simeon, we can also say, Lord, we have waited for this all our life. We want to see salvation. We will embrace salvation. We will keep salvation in our hearts.